Yeah, the stuff is Charles Gay. That just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to sign Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles J. Okay, man, um, got some goddamn breaking news. Yeah, man, shout out to my audience, man, shout out to those that's rocking with me, man. We in the kitchen, and if we don't do nothing else, man, we gonna keep some sauce in the pot, man. So let's get to the shit. Just watch the uh, press conference. I was very, very, very entertaining. Um, I'm looking forward to this uh, Tank versus Garcia fight. Not only am I looking forward to the fight, um, it's been some, um, yeah, it's been some new um, news uh, brought to us. Uh, Demetrius Andre and Jerome Boos Ennis will be on the undercard. And so... I think that's very goddamn exciting. This is very shy. I think this is going to be one of the best cards that I've seen in a long time. This is a lot of goddamn talent on one card. And I just I, I just had to get my thoughts on it, man. Um, at this point, I think Tank is growing. I, I, I can see maturity in him. And I got to be honest with you. He could be one of them fighters that don't want to share the spotlight. but Because Boots is a hot topic right now. And Andre, he, he's a household name. But Boots is a hot topic. And a lot of people wouldn't want Boots on their undercard. So I got to give you a lot of credit. Uh, and y'all, I saw y'all dap up and shit like that. I like to see shit like that. You don't mind sharing the goddamn stage. Because, man, this shit going to be epic, bro. This going to be an epic-ass card. This going to be an epic-ass fight. <sighs> Coach Calvin is not underestimating Hector Garcia at all. Uh, Coach Calvin said he was he been watching uh, Hector Garcia. He been watching him, and he know he's a real threat. Tank is a very good fighter. I think he's special, but I think he underestimating Hector Garcia. I think he underestimating him. And uh, I'm gonna tell you something about Hector Garcia: the difference between him and Ryan. And and, and I talk a lot of shit about Ryan, but when when Ryan fight Tank, Ryan is gonna be in the best shape of his life. He gonna fight the fighter. He gonna he gonna give everything he got. Yeah, he gonna try his hardest to win. He really is gonna come to fight. I make no mistake. I think Ryan will come to fight. But if Chris Colba get a fight, if if he get a fight deal with Tank, he's gonna come to fight. He's not gonna be playing. He may not even color his hair that fight. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> Chris Colba would change his life. Uh he would be the most disciplined fighter you ever seen if uh he get an offer for Tank. So a lot of fighters would do that. I still don't like Ryan and I still think he fraud. I think he's a groupie. Uh, I think that shit is a fairy tale. I think those Instagram followers are cap. But let me tell you something about Hector Garcia. Hector Garcia ain't fighting for Instagram followers. He's not fighting for popularity. You know, Hector Garcia don't even give a fuck. He don't. He act like he don't give a fuck that this is a pay per view fight. Hector Garcia there to fight, and not only is he there to fight, he wants his respect. I, I just see it in him, bro. He got that kind of shit. Hector Garcia care more about respect than he do fame. Hector Garcia care more about respect than he... And that's my kind of fighter. So, I am a Hector Garcia fan now. Because I see it in him, bro. He ain't all that cap... He ain't capping. He ain't on none of that, bro. Man, that motherfucker... Man, that motherfucker been in that gym. This could possibly uh, be the toughest fighter of tank career. I think Barrios gave him his... T- a lot of people think Pedraza... Uh, Tank, Tank kind of played with Pedraza. He kind of played. He kind of left him in the fight a little longer. Now, I think Barrios was uh, Tank's toughest fight. But I think this this could possibly be... Because I could see it being a chess match. I could see it being a chess match. This, this is a tough fight. This could, this could be the toughest fight of his career. I definitely think it's a tougher fight than Ryan. I think this could be the tough. I, this fight will be the toughest fight of Tank's career. Is he skilled enough to pull it off? Yes, he is. But Tank, I know. I not listen. I know you're feeling your sauce, bro. And I'm not saying you ain't taking them shit. But I, I, I'm gonna tell you what I know. You think Ryan a better fighter than Hector, and you respect him. You respect because I heard what you said when they asked you, "Is this the?" 
what you been waiting for. He was like, no, nah, this just a this just a this just a hump. I hate to go see it just to, to get you to Ryan, which is your dream fight. I don't know. I just don't know why you value that shit, bro. I just don't know. I don't know what you see in beating Ryan like it's going to make. I promise you, beating Ryan will not make you a bigger star. You will not. You won't get 100 extra followers beating uh, Ryan. But if Ryan, if Ryan drop you, if Ryan make you stumble at any moment in that fight, Ryan will be a bigger star than and if he beat you, he would definitely be a bigger star than you. Overnight. Overnight sensation. He gonna be on uh yeah, all them talk shows late at night. And they gonna give him a movie deal. <laughs> if Ryan beat you, he will be the face of boxing. If you beat him, you gain nothing. And that's the kind of fights where I don't like if I beat you, I get shit. I don't get shit out of it. But if you beat me, you become an overnight sensation. So that's what we dealing with with boxing, and that's the fight we so excited about. Tank will get no credit. He will not become a bigger star beating Ryan. That will not be his. Uh, le- that's not a legacy fight. That's a popularity fight. So, um, I, yeah, I just had to point that out. It's no diss. I just don't know why Tank. I don't know why you see Ryan as that. That's that that next step. I don't. I don't know why you see him as a legacy type. He not, bro. He ain't serious enough as a fighter to be that. And it's not very technically sound. A lot of people don't talk about that. Ryan don't have a high ring IQ. This dude, Hector Garcia, got a high ring IQ. Very smart in the ring. Very tricky. Got very good timing. Um, nice feet. Um, I like when he's aggressive. He's not overly aggressive. Very calculated. Very patient. And I'm going to tell you another thing about Hector Garcia that I'm going to tell you, bro. I can't think of the name of that trainer. That's a dangerous ass trainer. I think that trainer that uh, Hector, because he trains a lot. He trained number Latino fighters. And, and he specialized in uh, <laughs> teaching Latino fighters to be the black fighter. Yeah, that's all he, that's his train methods. His whole gym is based. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. No, nah, I don't know him like that uh, to say that about him. But you might as well. But he do good against black. Like he he do. He 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 study black fighters, and he's even he said it about time. I, he studies them. He studies, and so he's one of. Them. I think he's better than Robert Garcia. I think this trainer is a hell of a trainer. He got Hector ready, boy. Hector already in uh, fighting shape. So. This is a dangerous fight. It could be a uh, Tank toughest fight, and I think it will be. But I got Tank winning. But uh, like I said, Tank, I'm very impressed with your maturity, bro. Uh, sharing the stage with Boots and Andre, bro. And you you didn't try to big bomb. You didn't try to do none of that. Bro, I, I, I salute to you for that. Salute to you for that. Salute. And I hope, I really hope you start paying more attention to your undercards in your fight and putting top level talent up there yeah put some put some put some dudes up I, I like that bro i really really like that and i hope more fighters do that now boost ennis i've come to a conclusion that jerome boost ennis is the most exciting fighter in boxing jerome boost ennis is is the most ex- hands down the most exciting the most explosive the most impressive fighter in boxing at this point so i know you're not getting the fights you want and uh at this point, Boots, people just want to see you fight. Every time you fight, it's a show. It's some, it's some, it's some exciting shit, bro. So I got you as the most exciting fighter in boxing, and and that's hands down. So uh, I, I just wish the best for you, bro. And I just you gonna get there, bro. And and the more the more we become serious about boxing, the more people will be held accountable because there's so many guys. We're not saying nothing about standing on. It's not fighting Boots. He will get no criticism. Virgil would get no criticism for not fighting Boots. So, like I said, if we really love the sport, it, the fans got to push that. We got to push these fights getting made because at this point, dudes are really hiding. They, dudes are really hiding from Boots. Boots is the most avoided fighter in boxing, hands down. The most avoided fighter in boxing, bro. So. I'm just happy, bro. You f- and I'm gonna tell you another thing about your boost. This gonna be a good fight for you because you. I gotta be honest. Being on the undercard of a tank fight, it's gonna be a lot. It's you finna you finna get more attention. A lot more people finna see you at the, after this fight, bro. You your next fight gotta be a big fight because at this point, a lot of people finna see you when you fight. A lot of a lot of stars gonna be in the big. A lot of people gonna see you fight this fight, and you're on a big stage. So yeah, um. I'm happy for you, bro. I'm proud of you. Uh, you're a real fighter. 
I'm a fan of you. Uh, and I, like I said, you're the most exciting fighter in boxing. Now let's get to Demetrius Andre. When I tell you, I'm so I'm so proud and I'm so happy for you, bro. Uh, I talk a lot of shit about Al. I talk shit about it all. These, it ain't a promoter I haven't talked shit about. But Showtime, they pay good money, and I'm happy, bro. You finna get some big bucks, and we might just get that Jamal Charlo fight, man. And we might, but I don't know about David Benavidez's manager. He might not put him in there with Andre. Andre want that fight, though. Andre want that fight with anybody. And I'm convinced Andre want that smoke. And now you where it's at. You were, bro, I want to see you against David. I want to see you against Jamal. I want to see you against Caleb. I want to see all this shit, bro. And I'm just happy for you, bro. Because now, and, and you older, but you still got that sauce. So I just think. Bro, you really finna prove your greatness. And 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 I love Jamal, but that fight, that's a 50-50 fight, and you could beat Jamal. I see it, but you can beat him, bro. But he can beat you. That that that's that I think out of anybody, that's your toughest fight. I think Jamal will give you your toughest fight. I think you'll beat the shit out of Caleb. Are you gonna outbox him and your feet are better and you slicker and you a sour pot. You're gonna beat the dog shit out of Caleb. I got you beating uh, David Benavidez, picking him apart. He has no deal. You're going to pick him apart, and you might drop him with that overhand left. Jamal will give you your toughest fight. You ain't never fought nobody with a jab like that. Strong jab. It's going to give you trouble, bro. That's your toughest fight. That fight, that's a Super Bowl type fight to me. I, I don't care what no. That's one of the most exciting. That's one of the most. Out of all the fights, that's, one of, that's a top five fight in boxing for me. Is Jamal Charlo versus Andre, and I and like I said, I love Jamal Charlo, but I love Andre too. Jamal Charlo, my guy, but I still love him. That's just a good ass fight, bro. You motherfuckers got to fight. Y'all got to fight, bro. Y'all gonna have to fight. And I'm t like I said, I'm happy you at uh, Showtime, bro. You finna get you finna get you a lot of attention, bro. And I'm telling you, that the zone shit is real suspect. You wasn't getting seen, bro. Uh, when you fought Celeste and uh, out, you wasn't getting seen, right? You finna get seen, bro. You are finna get seen. And a lot of cat. You finna get. Nah, fuck casual fan. Let me not even mention no bitch. I don't. I have no respect for any casual fan. So now, nah, fuck a casual fan. But a lot of diehard boxing fans finna really get to see you, bro. A lot of people finna see you, bro. You finna get a lot of attention in Showtime. And so, like I said, I'm happy for you. Uh, you still got the sauce. And uh, thank I'm proud of you, bro. My only flaw, bro, I just wish you quit valuing. I don't know what you see in Ryan. I don't know what make you. You made him a star. He was not a star before he mentioned your name. Ryan Garcia was not a star before he mentioned. Let me ask you this. Before he mentioned uh, Tank name, could he get on the hot boxing with Mike Tyson? Nope. Nobody was saying your name, uh, Ryan's name until he mentioned Tank. So that's what I'm You let him know. Just like how you say you don't. Devin trying to get fame off. No, Ryan. That's the one who. Devin got all the bill. Ryan actually got fame off you. You let that shit go down. And I never thought he was a worthy opponent like that. Not not like not like that. To make it like this just a Super Bowl fight. He's not technically sound like that. So that's my flaw with you, bro. But uh, Hector. I think Hector going to give you the toughest fight. He going to bring out a lot of shit in you, bro. Uh, but Tank, you a special fight. Uh, Tank. Jerome Boots Ennis and Andre are all special fighters in my opinion. This is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.